In this exercise, we're going to examine the topic of slicing in fireworks. Slices can be one of two things. They can either break a fireworks page up into manageable pieces, or you can actually use them to optimize images and even put interactive behaviors on them. So let's get started. And to get yourself started, open fwuser underscore 01.png file, which is located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see that it's this document we've been working on for a while throughout this course. Now, create a slice is really not that difficult. What you do is you click on the slice tool, and you can see right there, it's the tool. And then basically what you do is you just click and drag to create the slice. The red lines are the slice guides. This is the actual slice itself. It's giving you a name and it tells you where it is. It's used in the foreground image. You can see it right there. The green color is just the color of the slice. If I change the color, say, to blue, you can see it changes to blue. This is uh, the default color. The other thing that you'll notice about the slice panel, especially if you come over to uh, the layers, is that the slice now appears in the web layer. It's just laying there over the image. Now, there are things that you can do with these slices. First thing is, of course, that you can make them larger by moving a guide up or down or moving a guide in or out. You can uh, name these things. For instance, uh, if this was to be uh, output as a sliced up web page, this slice would go into the images folder that would be created as FW user 01R2C2. I'm sorry, I don't have a clue what that is all about. So I can rename the slice, and it really is a good habit to develop. So I'm going to change it to Door Guy. Press the return key, and you can see that the name now appears in the slice, and it also appears in the web layer. Okay, that's one way of doing it. I call it the Mark 1 eyeball method. The problem with Mark 1 eyeball is that sometimes you just don't get the entire image. Let me explain. If I uh, zoom in on the door guy here, you can see that there's actually a drop shadow on the image. And the drop shadow actually goes outside the edge of the image. And you can see there's the drop shadow there in the filter. Now what you might want to do here is to actually let the software do the work rather than you. So I'm gonna zoom out to 100%. What you would do is you just select your image, right click, and you can see insert rectangular slice. So if I select that, it not only selects the image, but it also gets any of the effects that may leak out the side, which would be things like glows and things like that. Now, the other thing you'll notice here is that this image goes under the header. So I'm just going to pull this down just so it fits. And again, we'll name it door guy. Now, if you want to remove a slice, let's just assume that uh, you didn't want to slice this image. All you have to do is just click on the slice in the web layer and just drag it to the trash and it is gone. Okay, there are other things that you can do with slices. For example, we'll take the uh, coffee cup here, right click, insert a slice. And the first thing I can do here is rename it. So we'll rename it coffee cup. But what I want to do is change the image, maybe from its JPEG to a smaller file size, like a GIF. And I can do that by selecting two up and then dragging across the image. There's the uh, coffee cup. You can see it right there. And what I'm going to do with the coffee cup is I'm going to change it to a different file format. Now, right now, it's a JPEG image. This is in the Optimize panel with a mat. Its quality is 95% with selective quality of 90%, and the file size is 2.01K. I wonder what would happen if I change that to a GIF image. Well, it goes up slightly in size because it's got 256 colors, and I can reduce the uh, range of colors in here, and it comes down marginally to 2.0K. And let's see if I can make it even smaller. We'll take it down to 64 colors, and it shrinks down to 1.66K, so I can do it that way. The problem with GIF images is that they're not really good with gradients, sort of like this little gradient here on the coffee cup. Now, what we might want to do is look at a ping 8. And you notice that the gradient actually comes back, and the slice 
is still there, and the file size has dropped to 1.59K. So you can use slices just to optimize images as well. Okay, let's go back to original. And you notice it's already changed to the ping format. Now, why would you want to do that? Because if you optimize off the panel, the entire image or the entire fireworks document is set to whatever format is chosen. In this case, I can take the slice and actually change its format and make it smaller and optimize the image for output. Another thing that I can do with the uh, slices is actually make them interactive. Now I'm gonna turn off the visibility of the slice by clicking this icon right here. And I'm gonna select the coffee cup and I'm gonna go to the States panel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up so that when I roll over the coffee cup, it's actually gonna desaturate. So I come to the States panel right here and state one is the coffee cup with the brown coffee and the gradient. And I'm gonna duplicate the state, so I'm just gonna drag it down on top of the new state. Select the image, go to filter, adjust color, hue saturation, and let's just pull down the saturation here. And you can see that the coffee cup loses a lot of its color. Click OK. And now when I go back to the image, I'm gonna turn on the slice. If I select the slice and I click that little target right there, that is allows me to add a simple rollover behavior. And I go from state one to state two. And if I test the movie, preview, notice I get that nice little rollover behavior right there. So there you go, there's working with slices. As I've pointed out in this exercise, one of the um, great things about working with the slicing tool is that you can in optimize individual images. I've shown you how to do it by mark one eyeball. You select the tool, click drag across, make your slice, make sure you name slices properly. I also showed you how to uh, optimize the slice using the uh, optimize panel. And the other thing I showed you was how to slice up or do a behavior. There is one thing I didn't show you and I really think it's kind of neat. This image right here, there's a background image. And what I wanna do is not create one great big slice with the background image, I'm gonna tile it. And what you can do there is you can select your slice tool, draw out your slice that covers the texture, and just say, look, cover the background image. And we'll just call that texture. And this will actually tile when the page is assembled. And if you want to get more of the texture, of course, I showed you, you can uh, make these slices longer or wider simply by clicking and dragging. So there you go. There's slices in fireworks. It's a wonderful feature, and I think you'll find that you're going to be using it a lot.